morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the little people of the tube. Some kind of weird nervous neck twitch going on there. You're right, Dave, you're getting possessed by the thing. Quick, get Kurt Russell! Anyway, hello everybody, I hope you are well today, I hope you are feeling grand. I'm always well in your world. Hello! I suddenly am. I have this to play with! I want this! I... it's not going back. This has been very, 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 very kindly loaned to me by Yamaha slash Line 6 for me to demo. For you awesome people out there. And I wanted to try one of these things for a long time and I haven't been disappointed. I love it. I want it. It's a pedal board killer. It really is ridiculous. And I'm, I'm not just saying that. I honestly mean it. I love it. It's wicked. I love the effects. I love all the effects in it. Uh, I love the distortions, I love the reverbs, I love the choruses, it's just like, it just, the list goes on and on and on until I'm very, very happy and I'm hyper because I'm talking really fast. And you probably didn't understand any of that, but all you need to know is this is awesome. What is this? I haven't introduced it. Uh, this is the Line 6 HX Effects, everybody. Basically, it's all the, um, it's basically the Helix without the amp models, uh, I'm, I'm led to believe by reviews and whatnot. It's all effects like delays, choruses, distortions, uh, modulations, EQs, stuff like that. And it's just immense. It's just immense. But the best thing is, it's dead easy to use. Even an idiot like me can use it and in a couple of, like an hour, have all the sounds he wanted. Which is a definitely big thumbs up to me. So, if I did a video on what I wanted to do with this pedal, because there's more than one, uh, we would be here for years. There is so much crammed into this small little thing that literally to demo it all would take an eternity. So, what I thought I would do in in the in the you know, in the in the ideas of uh, of, of I'm just going to put that on uh, mute for a sec in the confines of time is basically show you some of the effects that I've got programmed into it. And the scary thing is that this terrifies me to bits. This could actually replace my entire pedal board. This unit with a wah pedal that that actually could actually replace all my pedals. Just that. I could actually just go to a gig with this and be a happy bunny for the whole night. It's got everything I want in it. Because my, my main pedal board, I'll get to playing in a minute, everybody. I really do apologize for talking too much. Uh, but my main pedal board consists of a distortion, a clean kind of broken up kind of cleanish sound, which is all on all the time, a reverb, a, 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 a long delay, a short delay, a reverse effect, and a chorus. That's what my effects is. So I've got six pedals, and this basically just mimics that. So basically what I've done is I've set this up like my pedal board. So I've got delays and a reverse thing at the top. I've got a distortion, a reverb, and a chorus. And I'm just going to go through them and show you them today. I'm going to turn the room mics off, let you just hear the 57, SM57 on the cab, let you hear the sound. So, and then I'll talk a bit more about what I've done um, in a bit. So, as, as, I kind of, as I kind of go. So, first thing I'm going to show you is my kind of basic, kind of clean tone. And then I'll talk about how I got it. So, this is my basic clean tone using just the Line 6 HX. I've got no other effects plugged in. And we're going through the glorious orange CL120 today, everybody. Uh, going through the dirty channel, as is customary for me. Uh, I have the volume on 10. I have the treble at 4. I have the middle on 7. I have a bass all the way off. And I have gain at 2.5. Uh, no reverb on the amp. Excuse me. And the master's on about 3. No, the master is on 3. I do apologise. Okay, so let me show you the kind of basic core kind of clean tone I've got using the HX effects, and then I'll talk about it afterwards, and then we'll go on to like, you know, some cool effects, and I'll get to the soundscapey uh, effects which are used in the intro jam in a bit. Okay, so enough jabbering, let's make some noise.
Okay, so totally uh, fell off the strings there. Sorry, Stevie. Um, but yes, that's my core kind of clean tone uh, coming from the HX. So let me just tell you a bit about what I've done there. Um, and I will, I, will, I will recap myself using the HX because I'm a bit confused. I'm not confused at all. I don't know why I said that. Are you confused, Dave? No, I'm not Dave. Good, Dave. That's very good of you. Well done. Anyway, um, inside the HX effects, you have the ability to kind of alter the signal path of these pedals. So it's basically exactly like a, you know, a normal signal chain with pedals. You know, but there's a million videos on all this stuff out there. I don't, I don't want to spend too long on that. I just want to make noise because that's what this thing does best. Uh, but you can arrange pedals, so you would arrange them on a pedal board, so to say. So kind of like, you know, reverbs won't get in the way of distortions and delays won't get in the way and, and you know, things like that. So, so the really, really cool thing with this is messing around with that, finding what works best where. So for instance, like uh, it, my signal flow is quite simple, actually. It's, it's um, I've got a distortion. My main distortion is kind of this side. So that's the first block on the left. Then I've got a overdrive, which is my main clean tone. Then I've got a 10-band graphic EQ, which is also on my clean tone. Then I've got a reverb. I've got my digital delays, one and two, uh, short and then long. Then I've got my reverse. And then I've got my chorus pedal at that far end. And then I've got a block three if I ever needed one. But my clean tone, basically what it is, is a overdrive called a stupa. Is that what it's called? Just want to make sure. I don't want to. I don't want to shortchange you here. Yeah, the stupor, the the stupor OD. Basically, that's what I've got. That's my overdrive sound. And then what I did was because it was a little bit too bright. Uh, because I what I, I set this uh, this unit up to be homogeneous over the settings I already know that my other pedal board works works through. So if I'm at a gig and like. I was using my main pedal board and my main pedal board died and I had this as a backup, then I could just plug this in with the same settings without having to alter anything on the amp and it's just, there you go. You know, power lead in, uh, two leads in and away I go. Um, so that, that's that's the way I wanted. I wanted to set this up as practical as possible for me for a live situation. I, did, I didn't want to set it up just for like home use. I wanted to set it up as if I was going to use it live as either a backup or a main kind of effects unit. So that's what I did there. And I used the 10 band graphic EQ to basically get rid of some of the highs and boost up some of the lows. Kind of kept the mids where they were, but kind of the low end kind of frequencies on the 10 band I've pushed up and I brought the high end down. So, and the really, really cool thing about that is that they're on all the time. So the 10 band gra graphic EQ and the Stupa OD, my clean sound, they're on all the time and they don't take up these pedal things because you can assign them not to. You can assign free blocks to not actually show up on here. So if I wanted to, I could actually have a reverb on all the time as well. But I, I chose to be able to have reverb off and on depending. So that's what my clean tone is. It's basically the CR120's dirty channel set, very neutral, kind of cleanish, but fairly kind of bright um, ish, bright ish. It's not really, it's quite a neutral kind of flat kind of sound. Uh, and then I'm using the HX to add that Stupa overdrive and then a 10 band graphic EQ. And if you're looking at like the uh, signal chain, I always get that confused with signal chains because signal chains are backwards to me. I've got the EQ, as you're looking at it, like across this screen here. So basically that's, that's linear. Uh, I've got distortion, stupor overdrive, and then EQ, if that makes any sense. So I've got the EQ after after the overdrive, so it's, it's altering it. Anyway, so that's what I've got for my, my core clean tone, and that, that's the way I use, that's that, so it, that's on all the time. <laughs> Love it to bits. That is just uh, that's just a. Mm, I don't have a word to describe that clean tone, but I love it. And then you can add reverb on top, which just sounds gorgeous. And then add delay on top of that if you want. And then you can add a long delay on that, long delay on top of that, and chorus, and get this. Add 
the backwards effect. <laughs> Which I love very much. Okay, so I'm going to move on to a distortion sound now. This is my main distortion sound, and I'm using the... One sec. Yes, I'm using the Line 6 Drive, everybody, because it's, it's my favourite distortion in this unit. It's it's I've gone through all the distortions. Line 6 Drive is my favourite. So let me show you that. I'll turn the room mics off and let me show you distortion. And I'll, I'll click on delays and reverbs and chorus as well, let you hear it with different effects on top. Okay, so let's do that. <laughs>
Okay, so um, that's my main distortion sound with chorus, reverb, and delays. Um, it, because it's combined with the Stupor Overdrive, it just has the perfect amount of gain to satisfy my gain hunger. Because I'm a gain fanatic, I love lots of distortion. Because I like to be able to kind of like let notes kind of sustain and really ring out. And that combined with that, that line six drive with that super overdrive, uh, super overdrive, and the uh, ten band graphic EQ gives me that in spades. And also, I don't, I don't know if I mentioned this, and you've already, you, you've probably already seen, you probably already know. So I'm probably just preaching to the choir here. But that was a very, very loud but, Dave. But I love the fact that you can have individual sounds on. I, I had the line six M13 for a while, and I really loved that unit. But one thing it really got my goat about it was you had all those switches but you can only ever have four effects on at a time with this you don't have that issue you can actually turn them all on if you wanted to which i love immensely it just gives you so much it, it's like it's just it's just a pedal board it functions like you would like you know a normal pedal board would like you know in in, in the whole kind of signal flow thing in the way things react with each other i love it i love it and it's so intuitive as well it's it, it's not complex and confusing i haven't had to look at the manual once i've just been able to figure it out through it which again is just like yes you know it just makes me very happy it just makes me very very happy and i love that i love when things are straightforward and they work and they just do what they say they do and it's just like yes you know it's like that there, it's like that there, and it's like this here, and it's like, you know, all those things down there, and all those things over there, and that thing there. I love it. And the thing you're watching it on right now. The, well, thing that's filming it. Anyway, enough of that. But yeah, I broke a plectrum then as well. Uh, I really like these plectrums. They're like 50 millimeter plastic plectrums, but I break them really easy. I don't know why. I just keep snapping the ends off. <sighs> I blame Joe Satriani and John Fashanti for the breaking of that plectrum. It's their fault. Um, anyway... <laughs> So that's my basic clean tone with reverb and delay. Uh, I don't know if I showed you it with chorus actually. I don't know if I did. I will do before the day is out, I can tell you that. But, um, and then uh, that's kind of like, you know, chorus is on there as well. But it's just, it just makes me, ha that distortion is just massive. <laughs> when you stick reverb and a, and, a, and a short delay on it, it just sounds... <laughs> love it. I absolutely love it. It's really fat, warm and singy and it just makes me very happy. I bet you can't tell that. I bet you look, that look really grumpy right now, don't I? Anyway, another thing I really love about this pedal is on the delays you get the ability to have the tails and what I mean by that is this so if I put on the long delay I can turn the delay off and it'll it'll tail out so it's really cool so and then it's not going to affect but the delay is still going I love that that I, that 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 should come as a standard option on any delay pedal as far as I'm concerned I love that it's so cool I need to calm down Breathe. Actually breathe. But I love the idea of the, the whole thing of tails. So you can turn it off and on. Stuff like that. It's mega. Um, I love the fact there's an inbuilt tuner. Tap tempo. You can have up to a million different pedal boards. Well, not a million. But you can have so many different kind of options of pedal boards. The two I'm going to show you today are this my, This is kind of my main... If I was to go... If somebody said tonight you've got a gig, but the place you're playing in is about this big and that's the space you've got. And this was mine. I would be using this, and that's all I would need. Well, and a wah pedal, because I love wah wah pedals. But, you know, you could always get an expression pedal and use the inbuilt wahs in this. But, you know, if you, if you don't want to do that, if because I love me Vox wahs and me Ibanez wahs. Uh, but anyway, enough on that. It doesn't really matter. But I would happily go to a gig with this setup here. And like I say, I've got... that. Um, just let you know what's going on here. That's my backwards delay. That's my really long delay, the crazy, crazy Jimi Hendrix kind of delay. That's my short delay, which I use mainly for solos every now and again. Uh, that's my distortion, the line six drive. That's my reverb, which is called a Ganymede. I love that word. It's a great word. 
and then that, that's my chorus. So, and I love the fact you can change the colours as well. So I've got like red, for, um, I've got like uh, the distortion is yellow. I've got uh, reverb, which is kind of orange. Chorus is blue. All my delays are green, just like the delay modeler, line six delay modeler, which I love as well, which I've used forever. And it's just, it's just brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. I love it. Okay, and I love this long delay. When you put distortion on and reverb with a long delay, you can get some awesome Hendrixy kind of sound. Let me turn the room mics off actually. I hear it through the cab, it sounds cooler. With the ability on that kind of like that tails thing, you can kind of jump back into riffs like that, and that does tails away. And it's like having another, it's like having an overdub on a on a on a, on a record. That is just that's just ridiculous to me. I love that to bits. That is absolutely. Mad. I wish that was standard on every delay pedal. This is an option. You know, if you you can either have it or you don't want it. It's really really cool. I love it anyway. I'm sure some delay pedals do that these days. But sport for choice these days, aren't we? Anyway, um, so yeah, so that's the distortions, that's the choruses. Let me show you chorus with clinks. I don't remember if I did it. And if I did, I apologize. I'm about to do it again. Um, but if I didn't, here you go. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, that's that's chorus with the clean sound. That's the you know for, for John Fashanti, Soft Squeeze, Andy Summers esque kind of vibe. Uh, really, really cool. So yeah, I mean, I, I just I love this thing. I love it. It's just ridiculous, and the size of the thing blows my mind as well because it's literally half the size of my normal pedal board. Well, not even that. well, yeah, it's about half the size of my normal pedal board. Kind of like you know width and length and I've got all my effects in it. it like I said if somebody said to me to go and gig with this tonight but I could dead easy and I wouldn't be missing an effect I wouldn't be like oh I wish I had delay I wish I had this I wish I had that I've got it you know I'm not I'm not just saying this is amazing and I love it just because 
you know, it's been sent to me, you know, because I'm sure some trolls in YouTube land would like to say that. You've been sent it, you've got to say it's good. No, I don't. You know, I'm saying it's good because it's great. It really is. It's dead simple to use. It sounds great. I am over the moon with this pedal. I love it to bits and I just wish it was mine. That's it. That's that's the downside to this. It's not mine. I'm, I've been loaned it, and I, I wish it was mine. I want it. I want it. I've actually written down all the settings uh, for each individual sound on here. So one day when I can afford one, because it's it's out of my, well, I think they're about four hundred quid at that price range. It's way out of my my range. I can't I can't afford one of these. I, I'm hoping to find one second hand, but one day when I get one, because I'm gonna get one. <laughs> Mark my words, people of YouTube. One of these will be mine. But when I get one, I've got all my settings so I can just dial them in and away I go. And it will be one of those things that I would use live. Definitely use live because it just sounds mega. I just, I am in love with this sound. I'm in love with reverb, the short delay, and the line six distortion. <laughs> sound is just heavenly and the distortion on its own I love that as well I'm peeking out the camera I do apologize but there isn't a sound I don't love there really isn't and like if I want to do kind of like like in uh, my band Duke's Deluda we've got a song called Process which I use chorus delay backwards effect and uh, on top of my clean tone, I can do that with this. If I have all these four on, I can get. It's there. And then when I want to change, I'll just turn that off, turn that off, turn that off, and... We are not worthy! Just... Oh, where are you? play that but I all of a sudden got the urge. So I've got to That's basically like, you know, that's how I would have it set up. So I've got my backwards, I've got my long delay, which is kind of like a Jimi Hendrix delay. I've got my short delay for solo, I've got reverb, I've got chorus, and I've got my distortion. Then off screen, which you can't see, which is on all the time, is like I say, that stupor overdrive. It's just an overdrive pedal to fatten up the clean tone. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what, I'll turn off the 10 band EQ in a sec and the stupor and let you hear the way the CR120 is set and then show you the sound. I'll do that in a minute. But, and then I've got them set up off, so they're on all the time. The Stupor and the 10 band EQ are on all the time over everything. Also, I want to let you know that uh, the distortion, the Line 6 distortion is this side. As you're looking at the screen, it's the first block. So the first block is my distortion and then it's my overdrive. I found it sounded fatter on that other side by tweaking it because it's so easy to just mess around and find thing where things work. Anyway, let, let me show. Let me turn off the stupid delay and the 10-band EQ. Let me show you what the CR120 sounds like 
on its own, and then we'll get into some sound, uh, soundscapey effects, which I used at the beginning. Okay, so um, I just forgot to mention, I'm going to show you the CR120 totally clean first. Like, basically, the stupid drive and the 10-band EQ are going to be off, and then I'll add in the stupid drive, and then I'll add in the 10-band EQ and let you hear what's happening there. Okay, so let's turn the room mic off and do that. Sorry to Andy Timmons there, I totally uh, threw me there. I got that wrong, I do apologize. Sorry Andy, um, wherever you are in the world. Okay, so yeah, that's, so you heard basically the CL120 on its own, really kind of like clean, fairly neutrally, you know, to be honest with you. Not, there's not a great deal going on with the CL120, there's no reverb, it's very straight, flat kind of sound. Then I added the Stupa Overdrive in, you probably heard me shouting. And then I added the 10 band EQ and it just leads to. <laughs> Level on Mr. White. He's, he's choking there. I need to get that. I need to get that leveled out. Yeah, bit bit pitted there. Anyway, enough excuses. Okay, so let's now. So just by pressing the mode button, you've got access to all sorts of different, you know, pedal boards and all that lot. So I'm gonna go to my little soundscape land. I've called it. I've called it soundscape land because I don't know why. But it's land. It's it's a land of joy and soundscape goodness. So, uh, on this pedal board, basically my, my other one was kind of like what I would use like, this is for kind of like, you know, for fun times, or uh, even if I was just kind of like going out and had to fill time, like, you know, if, if say something was going on and I had to fill time, um, this is the kind of a patch I would go to to kind of create sound. So what I've got on here is I've got a whole reverb, I've got a chorus, I've got a thing called a particle verb, which is like one of my favorite effects of all time and space because it sounds like space. Uh, I've got a thing called an octo thing, reverb, I think it is. It's, it's another really cool effect. I've got a looper, and I've got a line six drive as well for distortion. Uh, I do have the stupid drive and the line six, uh, sorry, the line six, the 10 band EQ on this one as well. And I also have a delay that's on all the time. So that delay, the stupid drive and the 10 band EQ are on all the time. So let me show you some of the sounds on here, because they're mega. So, uh, I'm not going to turn the room mics off of this one because they just sound ridiculously gorgeous regardless of anything. So, um, let's show you the particle verb first because particle verb is probably one of my favourite effects of all time like, and space, like I said, because it does this.
literally don't know what isn't to love about that sound. And the really cool thing is, if I lower the mix to about 60%, you get your actual original guitar signal with that over top, well, beneath. Jack didn't have to die, goddammit. There was room on that goddamn door. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so that's particle verb. And that is one of the reasons why that's one of my most favorite effects of all time, because it sounds like that. And it tires you, in, in, in tires you? Why not? It, in tire, it puts you in a tire and rolls you down a hill. No, it definitely doesn't do that. It's too gentle for that. Puts you in a, I don't know what, I don't know where I'm going with that. Anyway. I just love particle verb. That's all we need to know right now. Okay, so octo verb. I think that's what it's called. It's just called octo on the screen at this point in time. But it that does this. It's almost tubular bells esque. with particle verb. More reverb. Chorus. A distortion.
I, I'm in heaven. I am in heaven with this. I, I actually, I, I'm actually spending more time on my soundscape patch than I am my other pedal board thing because I love these sounds. <laughs> Okay, so... I literally don't have the words. I honestly don't. I literally don't have words. Especially not after that. That took me somewhere else. The only other thing I didn't show you on there was the looper, but I used the looper at the beginning. Uh, and it's really hard to use the looper when it's not at your feet. But... Oh, my... 
good gravy, is all I have to say. Extre- extremely good gravy in this case. I really love it. I really love it. It's, it's, like I said, it's a pedal board killer. It really is. This is like ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I need one. I need one. I really need one. What, what can I sell? I need one immediately. <laughs> can I sell my soul again? I don't know. How many times can you sell your soul, people of a tube? I don't know. Um. Yeah. I, I really don't know what else to say. Line six, Yamaha slash line six. Have, this is nailed this. Nailed this. It's like I've heard so many good things about the Helix. People asking me to try the Helix, and you know, and people try, asking me to try this. And I was a bit like, I had the M13, and I loved the M13, but it was a bit of a headache sometimes. It, 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 I loved it to bits, and it sounded immense, but it was a bit of a headache, and I didn't like the fact you had all those buttons, but you could only use four of them at a time. I just found that a bit. Silly. I don't really. I, did, I never. I even remember saying at the time, I was like, why, why, why can't I just like pick and choose? If anything, I was like, this in the M13. I want more buttons. I want more options. I want more switches. You know, I want it bigger because six just isn't enough. For, for, for what you've got in here, I want more. I want to be able to use these two. I want another two up here. I want 20 switches. I don't want that many. That's, that's, that, that's excessive. But I at least want, you know, 19. Anyway. You're so funny, Dave. You should be a, a hold your own comedy club. Tonight, on Comedy Club with Dave Simpson, the world's unfunniest man. Anyway. Uh, yes. I don't have any more to say. I'm going to go back to my straight in paddle board a sec. Oh, my gravy.
Guitar's well and truly out of tune now. Anyway, I think that's enough. I think, I, I think, I've, I think I've done enough brain, my brain frying today. But yeah, this is seriously cool. I would advise anyone to try one of these things. The HH effects by Line 6 slash Yamaha. Are just, they're just immense. They are absolutely immense. And I can't thank Yamaha and Line 6 for enough for sending me this to demo on loan. I love it to bits. I really love it. It's absolutely incredible. You've got... Um, You've got, an, you've got like an effects loop in this thing as well. And you've also got, uh, you know, you've got two send and returns effects loops. And you've also got two outs for uh, expression pedals, which you can assign to reverbs, delays, distortions. The possibilities are absolutely endless. And if a technical numb school like me can get through it as easy as I did, without, I looked at the manual once. You know, it's online. I, I haven't looked at the manual once. I promise you. I, I swear, I have not touched the manual. I haven't even looked at it. I, I just, I just able. You're just able to mess with things. And the really cool thing is too, you can edit things in real time. So if you're on like your your chorus setting, um, you can just literally like you know tweak these three dials at the top and these little arrow buttons to go to different pages, and you just tweak it in real time and it just saves automatically. It's just like a real pedal. And the really cool thing is, which I really love, I don't know, you, you won't be able to see this, but if you just touch the effect, if you just touch the, uh, the the switch, don't turn it on, you can see what everything's set to. So if I just touch the distortion, I can see the drive's all the way up, I can see the bass is about halfway, the mid's about halfway, you know, and it's really cool, you can do that. And if you hold it, uh, then the entire, the, all, 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 the, all the parameters of that effect come up on on the screens here, which is mega, absolutely mega. Ah, this is, this is destroying me. This is destroying me. Absolutely destroying me. I love this thing to bits. I hope you've enjoyed the noises, everybody. <laughs> I shouldn't have, especially that soundscape one. I love the soundscape on this thing. I love the distortion in this thing. I love that. <laughs> Especially with reverb and delay on it, it's just so Anyway, I've, I've already done that, but that's, that's a very special sound to me. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video, everybody, on the Line 6 HX effects. Uh, I have to give a massive, massive thank you also to uh, Philippa Q for making this happen. Because um, this wouldn't have happened without her. So, thank you very much. And uh, thank you all so very, 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 very much for watching. I will see you again on Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Have a great morning, afternoon, and good evening. They're going to have to pry this out of my cold, dead hands, everybody. Yes, they will. I love it. I really do love it. It's so mega. It's so cool. And also, it works really well. I must say this quickly before I go. It works really well with other pedals. But that's... I don't have time to cover all that. Like I say, if, if I... If I covered everything I wanted to cover with this pedal, we would be here for days, not an hour. You know, we'd be here for absolutely days. So, and, and, you know, but I really hope you enjoyed this video on this. It's absolutely, yes, thank you very much. I'll take 70 of them, link them all together. And then I've got, I can't do the maths quick enough, but, you know, I've got that many effects, however many that is. 70, how, people of a tube, here's a maths question for you. If you had 70 HX effects, and you had six effects to each one, how many effects could you have? Because I don't know. I'm dyslexic, so I'm not very good with numbers. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and on this note, which is just very special. Or... Or on this chord, thank you very much, and goodbye.